Now, a lot of you know that liberals stand very strong on two positions. Number one, they stand, they stand strong on the gay agenda, on homosexual rights, gay rights. And you know, you know, the earlier stages of the gay movement, they were saying that, you know, that uh, we're gay, it's the way we were born, it's who we are. You know, science has proven that we have the gay gene, you know, it's in our DNA. So don't condemn us, don't look down on us. I mean, support us because this is just the way we are. This is the way we were born. It's in our DNA. Now, you know that this is not true. I mean, there are a lot of different DNA companies out there that, that would test your DNA for a lot of different things. You know, a lot of people are getting their DNA tested to find out their ethnic background, you know, what their nationality is and, and, and the ethnic mix within them. And a lot of these companies also provide uh, DNA tests for what they would call DNA traits. Like, for example, they claim to be able to tell you whether or not you like coffee by your DNA or whether or not you are a light sleeper or not. I mean, just by your DNA. Lots of different tests you can order from these companies. But of course, I mean, as far as I've seen, you cannot order a test to tell you whether or not you have a gay gene. So we know that it's really not true that there is a gay gene, but let's just suppose there is. Let's just give them that. Let's just say, okay, there is a gay gene, okay? So liberals stand for that, but they also stand for abortion, okay? The second thing they stand for is abortion. You know that a woman can have an abortion at any time for any reason, you know, from the time of conception right on through to, you know, during the birth process while the baby's halfway out. The baby can be killed, suck their brains out, and, and hide the body. And, I mean, you know, that's just fine with a lot of these liberals. It's just fine. It's just a woman's right, okay? It's, it's just a right to their, you know, it's a woman's body. They can do whatever they want with their body. I mean, that's not to mention the fact that it's really not the woman's body they're killing. It's another person within them. It's the baby's body with a totally different DNA. Talk about DNA. Totally different DNA within them. That's a different human being. It's their body, not a woman's body. But not to mention that. Let's not even go there, they would, they would think. I mean, it's just the woman's body. So they can get an abortion for just about any reason. And nowadays, when a woman is pregnant, they go to the doctor, and the doctor pushes for what they call an amniocentesis. Amniocentesis is when they go up and they take a sample of the baby to see whether or not the baby has, you know, a number of different issues that the baby might have. You know, for example, they might say, well, if the baby has Down syndrome, you might want to know whether or not the baby has Down syndrome or another, a number of other little things that, uh, that maybe you just might want to know about because, you know, that's just all the reason more to have an abortion. I mean, they're just looking for an opportunity. They're looking for reasons to kill the baby. It's like they're just hunting for, for, uh, to kill the baby. Hunting for reasons. And that's not to mention, too, that that particular test actually puts the baby's life at risk. I mean, that, that puts the baby's life at risk alone. I mean, uh, you think about a child, you know, the post-birth child, uh, you know, if you put their life at risk, you might be, uh, you might be, you know, you might end up in court you know, charged with putting a child's life at risk. But, it be, but before the baby actually comes uh, out of the, out of the, you know, travels down the birth canal, it's okay to put the baby's life at risk. Uh, that's the way these, these liberals think. So... The idea is let's put this baby's life at risk and let's do this test so you can find out if there's any reason why you might want to abort the baby. But what if, okay, taking, the, taking into consideration these two traits that I just told you about the liberal position in homosexual rights and abortion. But what if a woman is pregnant, goes into the doctor, and the doctor asks if, if she would like to have an amnio, amniocentesis and she says, Yes, I would. I would like to have the baby's DNA tested whether or not the baby has a gay gene. And if the baby does have a gay gene, I want to abort it. Think about that for a minute. What if the woman, what if a woman goes into the doctor and asks for a test on the baby? to see whether or not the baby's DNA contains the gay gene. And if the baby does, she says she wants to abort the baby. What if? 
What would the doctor do? What would the doctor say? If the doctor would, you know, resist her and she takes that doctor to court, what would happen? What would happen? Think about it. Because if a, a woman went in for any other reason, for any other reason, and, and, and said, uh, you know, I'd like to abort this baby. I, I, want a, I want a girl. I don't want a boy. This baby within me is a boy, so let's abort it. The doctor would have no problem with that. I mean, no, typically speaking, no, no problem with that. Well, this baby is come, you know, the test came back that this baby has Down syndrome. I, let's abort it. The doctor would be happy with that. Not to mention that there were a lot of different babies that were born already that were tested positive for Down syndrome that actually didn't have Down syndrome. I mean, let's not even talk about the margin of error when it comes to this test. The real margin of error, not so much what the doctors might want to tell you. But anyway, let's, let's just say, what if the mother says, I want to test on this baby to see if, if this baby has a gay gene, and if the baby does, I want it aborted. What would happen? What would happen? This goes to show the liberal mindset, how barbaric, how evil, how double standard, how hip hypocritical this is. How utterly evil this is. What if the woman asked for that? What if the woman asked her doctor to do that? What would they do?